Today we're going to be taking a look at the best fifth wheel options for your 2016 F250. Now these are going to be your best options when looking for a fifth wheel base rail kit for your Ford. Here we have the B&W, it's the custom underbed installation kit for B&W companion fifth wheel hitch. Now here we have the Kurt, and that's going to be the Kurt custom fifth wheel installation kit. Now over here we have the Reese quick install custom base rails. Now all of our fifth wheel base rail kits are going to give us the same end result and they're going to allow us to tow using a fifth wheel. Now they're all going to install a little bit differently and they're going to take a different approach. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the differences. Now the Kurt and the Reese, they are industry standard measurements. So any industry standard fifth wheel is going to be able to fit onto our base rails of our Kurt as well as the Reese. Now the Kurt and the Reese are both still compatible with goosenecks but they don't come with the included kit like the BMW does. The Kurt and the Reese both are going to be mounted inside of our bed. The height of our Kurt rails coming off our bed is going to be just under an inch and a half, where the Reese is just going to be just under two inches. As far as the end result, obviously the BMW does look a lot different. Now, the BMW is going to take a different approach because this is actually going to be underneath the bed of our truck. When towing with the fifth wheel, the BMW will work with the companion fifth wheel and the draw tight high rise fifth wheel. This does double as a gooseneck, so you are going to have a 2 and 5 16 ball available. So when we move our handle here, we can actually remove the ball, turn it around, and since this is going to be under the bed, all it'll be sticking out is just this right here and it'll be nice and flush with our bed. The weight ratings for all of these fifth wheels will be higher than our Ford truck. Just be sure to check your owner's manual and never exceed your vehicle's weight ratings. When it comes to how these are going to install, the Kurt and the Reese are going to install roughly the same. You're going to have to drill two holes for each rail on each side, as well as one in the center for each rail. And then once we have our rails in the bed, on the outside of the frame, we're going to have our frame brackets that are going to connect to our base rails. Now the B&W is going to take a little bit of a different approach. The B&W is still going to use side rails here that are going to go on our frame, but instead of just having two rails, we're going to have the two rails that go underneath the bed and our center section here. Now I did mention that on the Kurt and the Reese we're going to have to drill. Well, we're going to need to drill on the B&W as well, but not as many holes. We'll drill four holes for our safety chain loops, but then we're going to have to drill a four inch hole so that our ball or adapter for our fifth wheel can fit through. The weight capacities are going to change quite dramatically, depending on which one you go with. You always want to double check your vehicle, the fifth wheel, and any other component in your towing package to make sure that everything can handle that and you're going to go with the lowest rating. Now when it comes to taking our fifth wheel out, maybe we need a little more access to haul something in our bed. We simply have one latch and one bolt on our fifth wheel assembly and then it'll come right out. The fifth wheel is going to come in right here and a pin and a clip is going to hold it in place. Now there's going to be four mounting points on both the Kurt and the Reese. So to sum everything up, as far as ease of installation goes, I'm going to have to give it to the Reese and the Kurt because they're going to install roughly the same, but the side rails connecting to our frame are going to be much easier to access than having to crawl under the bed. As far as bed access goes, I'm going to have to give it to the B&W here because when we're not using our fifth wheel and we take it out, all we're going to have is a small lip of where our mounting point will be and two small safety chain loops. As far as hitch compatibility goes, I'm going to have to give it to the Kurt and the Reese here because they are industry standard and any industry standard fifth wheel hitch will work with both of them. Now as far as versatility goes, I think I'm going to have to give it to the B&W because the mounting kit does double as a gooseneck trailer and it does work with the companion fifth wheel hitch. So if you have the companion fifth wheel hitch and a gooseneck trailer, it'd take less than 10 minutes and you can convert it back into a gooseneck. As far as storage, or the hitch connection and disconnection, I think the B&W is gonna win because there's only one lever as well as one bolt that you have to loosen out and then your fifth wheel will come out. 
and it'll finish up the look at the best fifth wheel options for your Ford F-Series. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.